Speaking of interactions, we have five great social media interactions. All right. So these are the damn, these are the damn awards, the greatest social media interact. We've had a lot of fights. I've been in a lot of back and forth with people. All right, let's hit it. Number five, ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. Five great social media interactions coming up here. Uh, that 2000 you worked hard for is better than 100K that was given to you for free. Yeah, it was. Uh, don't ever give anyone advice Again, I would say this one would go to don't ever give anyone any advice ever again. Uh, I get it. See, I'm not big on things like sayings. Like, you can only control your controllables. There's no I in team, but there is a me. I ain't big on it. I'm big on doing I'm not big on watching. I'm big on doing. I'm big on action. I'm big on. I'm not big on sayings. Sayings suck. Well, you know that two thousand you worked for. No, I'm big on reality. Give me the hundred k, and you take the two thousand that you used a jackhammer for, and you feel good because you got all sweaty. Yeah, you do that. I'll take the hundred k. Simple. I think so. Don't ever let T. Goody, underscore T. Goody, give you advice on anything ever again. What's next? (laughs) What's the worst thing a woman has done on a first day? She literally asked, what was their most expensive drink? The waiter met my eyes and the bro code kicked in. He just kept kept saying everything was out of stock. God bless him. Where he is now, I went back to give him a tip, but he declined. Yeah. But I will say this, and maybe this is just me, but when I was part of the dating scene, quote, back in the day, even in high school, college, whenever I went on a date, I read the room. I pretty much figured out where we were going and what it was going to cost me. Now, you got to understand, when I was a kid, I always worked. I worked at the athlete's foot. I worked as a paper boy. I mowed lawns. I did odd jobs for money. My grandpa, hey, Danny, come on out here and clean my garage and I'll give you five bucks. I was there. I'm just saying. So I never had money, money. But I never really had to go to my parents and say, hey, look, I need a hundred bucks, right? hundred bucks, would have, my allowance when I first started was a quarter a week. My first job, I made $2 an hour, but it was untaxed. It was cash. So here's the deal. But when I went on a date, I always pretty much figured I didn't want to embarrass myself. So I brought more money than I was going to need in case a woman did this, in case uh, that happened. And then when I got older and ended up getting divorced, uh, I I brought way too much money because, look, I'm not going to look like a fool and I'm not going Dutch. So sack the hell up, King K. If you're going on a date, do yourself a favor, get some ass to you and bring enough money. And if a woman wants the, uh, I don't know, espresso martini, double vodka, extra neat, whatever, be a big wheel. Be a wheel. Don't give the guy a look. Uh-uh. Be a wheel. You don't have to be a wheel every night. But be a wheel one night. Bite a lobster. What do we got next? Grown men really let a football match ruin their day. L-O-L-O-L-O-L-O. Oh, L, O, 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 L. Grown women let Zodiac signs shape their future. Look, here's the deal. You like what you like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like what you like. 
friend of mine on my old radio show told me that his wife is like 300 pounds. He goes, hey, Danny, I like what I like. Yeah. So if you like football, basketball, baseball, soccer, hockey, whatever, to the point where it's going to ruin your day, you like what you like. If you want a Zodiac sign to determine, my ex-wife used to go to a lady out in the woods. She did. She would go to a lady out in the woods. She was like, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. A mentalist. She wasn't a Zodiac sign reader. She wasn't a card reader. She wasn't that. She was like a mentalist. And I got to tell you, the lady was kind of spot on. She was. You like what you like. Like, I think I went one time and I'm like, yeah, this isn't for me. I, I, I believe in God. I don't necessarily believe in this. But hey. Tell my, my, my then wife, you can't do it. Hey, you do what you do. You like what you like. You make your move and away you go. It's no big deal. Number two. I think that was the third. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, if you use facial recognition for anything, the government has your face. <laughs> Wait until you find out about driver's licenses. <laughs> See, this guy here, I get what he's trying to say, okay? Slim Bahaming, but Slim's an idiot, right? I mean, Slim's stupid. This is a great segment, by the way, at least for me. I'm enjoying this. But Slim don't know what he don't know. See, Slim, here's the deal. And I get what you're saying. You're like, you know what? If you're going to open up TikTok and you're going to do it, you know, facial ID, then the Chinese government has your face and they can dive deeper into you is what you're saying. Now, look, I think that I don't care. Like, you know what? I, I, I guess until I get all my bank accounts cleaned out, then maybe I will care. But as I sit here right now, I honestly do not care even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Well, TikTok's for Chinese spies. All right, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the price of bananas makes me mad. The price of eggs makes me mad. I don't know what to tell. They've got your face. Okay. Well, all right. You got my face. I mean, I don't blame you for wanting all this, but you got my face. <laughs> it's not something that I sweat. It's not something that I even give a thought to. Uh, you know what? On our, on our Snapchat, we got, I don't know. I don't know. We got some face. You still got divorced. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. What can I tell you? I got divorced. Like 50% of the people in the world. I don't know. Hey, Dan, if, per, if people have a facelift, will facial recognize you? Will facial recognition recognize you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, la last one, number one, numero uno. Man, I can't read this one. This one's tough. James uh, Harrisack is mad at us, but I'll have to open up the the uh, email on this one. I, I uh, hold on, hang on, caller. I love these. I do. People are mad because I don't get my morality from uh, from politicians. I don't. I never have. You know what I want? I'll tell you the same thing all the time, and it'll piss you off. I want gas prices down. I want inflation never to be discussed, and I want the market up. If you can do that for me, I don't care whether you are a Republican. I don't care whether you are a Democrat. I don't give a rat's ass who you are. You do that for me, but now I go in. Eggs are a million dollars. Gas prices is over $3, and away we go. All right. Stay retired, Paul. You're a better commentator than fighter. Paul Felder, does it make you feel good saying that? Now, would you say that to my face? Nope. You'd kick my ass. That's why I said it on Twitter. Fair enough, says Paul the fighter. That is the Internet Hall of Fame. Seriously, that right there, this discussion is the Internet Hall of Fame. It is. That's good work, fellas. Thank you for that top five.